What's up you guys? Today we're going to be talking about Norwegian Cruise Line if it's a buy right now, if you might want to wait for the dip or what you want to do with the stock. We're going to go on the computer now and I'm going to show you guys my plans for buying and if it's maybe too late to buy or maybe it might drop a little bit lower. All I ask is if you could just take 5 seconds of your time, hit that like button below, it really helps out this channel. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Now let's get on the computer so I can show you guys exactly. So here we have here Norwegian ticker symbol NCLH. It was at its low of seven dollars, and as of today, March 25th, it's been climbing pretty high. It's been hitting this resistance line of 1756. And I personally think this is my opinion about it. I would think it's gonna fall. If you look at the spy here, the S&P 500, it's dropping, dropping, dropping. Now it seems to have broken this downward trend line. And I feel like a lot of new beginner and new buyers are gonna be buying this rip and they're gonna get caught once it starts dipping again. So just be careful guys. If you did buy around seven to eight dollars, that's perfect. All this news, the bill passing for two trillion dollars is what pretty much brought all these stocks up to rally just for a bit. In the long upcoming days, weeks, even months that we're gonna see this downtrend. The whole world is like pretty much in quarantine. You know, nobody's working, especially I'm from Miami and nobody here is working. Everybody's losing a job or pretty much staying at home. And that goes for a lot of people around the US. Just because this bill has passed doesn't mean everything should be fine. This causes inflation and all that. So I want to show you guys exactly some history of what, exactly what I mean. Just because this bill has passed of $2 trillion doesn't mean, you know, we're going to be in a complete uptrend. On October 8th of 2008, we had a $700 billion bailout from President George Bush for the banks and all that stuff. Learn from history. So we're going to go here October 8th and you can see it's moving up similar to how this is bouncing up and it just dropped continuously. New York is increasing the number of this pandemic. Every three days it doubles. Pretty much everybody's on lockdown and nobody's, all these businesses are not really making money. But as far as the hospitality industry, they're still going to be affected long term. I would say these three quarters of earnings will probably be missed or negative, even with this bailout. So what I predict Norwegian to do is hit this trend line. If it breaks this trend line, we might see at 23.89 and then we might see it drop from there. If you haven't bought at the low I personally would wait I think there's gonna be more opportunities within the next week or a month I don't think you have to rush I don't think it's just gonna be an up like what most people think most beginner traders are just thinking it's just gonna go back up like this it's not really how it works if anything it will go back up here down go up that's a more healthier way you know if it just spikes like that it's not as likely for it to uptrend. Keep that in mind, guys. I do think right now we are entering maybe a bull trap, getting a lot of new traders in. We might see this off the S&P 500. We see resistance here. We might break this, see resistance here. And then I do think we'll continue downward trending. I'm waiting for my 200 mark and my 180 mark. That's just my opinion. I do think that we'll see that within this time frame of all this bad news and everything we have here. I know that this week until Friday will probably be uptrending for the most part because of all this news. The bill has passed and it's helping all these companies out. But long term, I do see this downtrending still. As of yet, I don't see it completely uptrending. If it goes here, then it breaks down here at support and it climbs up again then we might be uptrending for the most part also make sure to like this video below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and i'll see you guys on the next video